Hello, everyone. Want to learn an impression today? Sure you do. And today we're going to learn how to do the Peter Griffin voice. You've seen and heard this particular voice done by lots of people. And today you're going to learn how to do it yourself in three easy steps. So let's get started. Step one, find the spot. With any impression, you have to know where the voice is placed in the throat. The Peter Griffin voice emanates from the side of the mouth. So what you're going to do now is you're going to shift your mouth either to the left or the right side of your face. For me, it's more so of the right side of my face. So this, this is just me shifting my mouth to the right side of my face here. Now, I know this looks a little bit weird, but uh, stay with me here. And all your words that start with T's, like this, that, and the other, are going to be dis, dat, and dieta. So you're going to replace them with D's and A's at the end of uh, words like other. You're going to be like other, dis, dat, and dieta. And you can just practice doing this as often as you possibly can until your face gets used to it. But don't do it too much, because it hurts. Step two, find the natural pitch from your bass voice. Peter Griffin's voice is bassy and throaty, so depending on your natural voice, you may need to go an octave up or an octave down in pitch. So as you can hear from my speaking voice, my natural speaking voice, I'm very bassy. So what I need to do when I'm trying to achieve the Peter Griffin voice, taking what we've learned from step one and attributing it to step two, what I need to do is I need to maybe pitch shift my voice, maybe one or two octaves higher. So with that in mind, I'm going to talk a little bit like this here. So as you can hear, this is me shifting my voice a, 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 a couple of octaves higher, actually just like one octave higher. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's coming from like from the back of my mouth here, as you can clearly hear there. So what I'm saying here is uh, this, that, and the other. Uh, so that's what you need to say. If you're familiar with Peter Griffin, uh, his pace of speaking is a little bit uh, quick pace there. I know, I know that's kind of weird, but it is. And uh, this is how you should sound right now. Step three, this one's easy. Do the voice. With what we've learned thus far, it's time for us to become comfortable with the voice. And the best way to do that is actually just putting it on and doing it. So now that we kind of know how P.T. Griffin's voice uh, sounds here, what we need to do uh, is just, uh, just talk, just talk as Peter Griffin, uh, and uh, that should be it, dear. And also, don't worry if it doesn't sound exactly like the character, because the thing is, what you're doing is you're learning how to do the voice right now. But what you need to do is practice and practice and practice the voice. I still don't think my Peter Griffin is dead on, but there are certain aspects of the voice, of the impression that I do, that lets you know that this is Peter Griffin. Because you know why he talks like this, dear? You know why? Uh, hey there, Lois. Uh, remember that one time uh, there was a guy doing an impression of me? <laughs> Congratulations! You've done it! Now practice makes perfect, so go forth and do the voice in your everyday life. Hey, you may annoy some people with it, but you know what? You're practicing, and the more you do the voice, the better you'll get at it. And don't just repeat lines that you hear on a television series. Say normal things that you would say in everyday life in the voice. That's the best way to actually get a sense of the character. Um, if you already know the mindset of the character by watching the particular source material, then you're good to go. Now, you decide the next impression how to. Will it be Mountain Man, Jake the Dog, or Patrick Stewart? Leave your suggestion for the next how-to down below. And be sure to vote for Akeem in the Geek & Sundry Vlogger search. Voting ends on July 19th, and Akeem is keeping his fingers crossed that he will make it to the top 10. Let's make his dream come true. But until next time, take care and keep voicing.